What are thoughts on the West Ham getting cheated on on Twitter? I seen that with that girl Skatiz Ho or whatever her name is. I'm really not surprised. Ho is literally in her name. I'm saying, bro. I'm saying. Let's go see what's popping. So we have West Ham that is dating some moonscape streamer named Skatizo. She spent hers in a foreign country cheating on me, parentheses twice, 258 likes. And the person he's talking about is Skatizo. But it says this page doesn't exist. You know why? Because she deleted it. Oh, she, she privated her account. Yeah, it didn't used to be private. So she privated her account and she's going defense mode with the Dins Bullrick and that Lijin Spirit Shield with uh, protection players on. Yeah, she's, try she's trying to protect herself now. So whoever wants to know what's popping, West Ham was dating that female. That female went to Australia and, and cheated on West Ham twice. Not once, chat. Twice. On Valentine's Day, by the way, chat. On Valentine's Day, she cheated on him twice. Let's not forget about that. Like, Valentine's Day is basically double XP. You cheated on double XP day. Like, that's that, that counts as, like, four bodies then. Honestly, not two bodies, four. At least wait another day. Let's see what people are posting under her post. Well, under West Ham's post. Just in case if anyone missed the original post, Casper is one of the sweetest and most caring people I've ever met. And he does not deserve this. It's insane that she did this pub publicly as well. Humiliating. She spent hers in a foreign country cheating on me twice. And this was the post. Happy Valentine's Day, you whores. Kind of ironic that she would call people whores when she cheated on West Ham twice in a different country and thought that he wouldn't find out when he did. That's ironic as shit. I'm not going to lie. Damn, everybody's just like, sorry, brother. Love you, man. Sorry. Love you, bro. Love you, brother. Damn. Love you, bro. Bullet dodge. Not going to lie. She belongs to the streets. Oh, shit. No woman travels independent, independently to another country unless she has interest in a partner. I'm sorry, West Ham. You have good support around you. There's a good woman out there. Keep your head up. Madam Mage said that. But why does she have 12 replies under her post? It's probably going to be a bunch of women. Don't let anyone scare you from speaking the truth. And then this guy just posts some random retarded gif. And then like a question mark by Kaylee, question mark. Madam Mage didn't even say anything wrong. No woman travels independ independently to another country unless she has interest in a partner. I mean, I guess it could be false, the first sentence, right? Because a woman could go travel and stuff like that. I can understand that. But you know what she means, right? I don't know why she got 12 replies on this. It's a bunch of dick riders, bro. A bunch of dick riding out here. Well, Honestly, though, everybody on Twitter is just a fucking retard. Even most of the RS women on Twitter, they all sexual bait, right? They all act sexual and try to bait sexual interaction. And then when uh, when somebody DMs them sexual shit, they'll expose the DM and be like, this guy is so fucking weird. Why is he trying to DM me sexual shit? Like, bitch, you're typing sexual shit 24-7 on your timeline. What do you expect? I'm not understanding. What well, it's girl math. The shit I see on Twitter sometimes, it blows my mind. And people are still mad at Condor over the Ditter White Knight video on her, lol. Wait, what did Ditter do? Wait, did Ditter Bitter protect her or something and make a video about protecting her? I want to watch the King Condor video. Moonscape Eagle drama is knuckle deep in drama. Let's see. So you guys might remember last year, I mentioned throughout the Golden Gnomes, <laughs> any knuckle deep is exactly three. Uh, I mentioned the Golden Gnomes when Skatezo was brought up. I said that she doesn't deserve to be um something along the lines of not being deserving of uh being a new streamer golden gnome and i was right and she didn't win that one and did a bit of went out and made a video and he was basically just like sandbagging his entire youtube status um to white knight for someone because she was dating or at some point started dating one of his mates west ham and then she ended up uh doing exactly what i said in the video which i told everyone was going to happen she ended up, they ended up dating, she cheated on him twice and he tweeted about it, she then removed the post, that was the post there. This is the original post, right? Because she's gone to Australia for Valentine's Day. The rumour is, this is a rumour, I don't know if it's fact, so make that clear. Apparently West Ham paid for her trip to Australia, and this is the second time she's gone somewhere that he's paid for. Wait, West Ham paid for her trip too? Oh my god! Oh my god! No, that's disrespectful. That's crazy. No, but Walla, that's crazy though. See, he paid for her trip and she cheated on him twice. Oh, that's not true. Okay, somebody said it's not true. So let's take it with a grain of salt. And cheated on him. That's the rumor. Um, and then the people that she's staying with is paying for a hotel. So she's smooching off of everyone at this point, which is what I said would happen again. This is all factual. Um, you can go back and watch it. You can see it all. And it's kind of stirring the pot on Twitter at the moment. Um, just in case anyone missed the original, Casper is one of the sweetest and most caring people I've ever met. 
a Casper being West Ham. He doesn't deserve this. It's insane that she did this so publicly. Humiliating. Ab absolutely. I, I, I completely agree. It's, I do feel bad for West Ham for being treated like this, but also you kind of had it coming. Like, this was obvious. It happened with Nine Rain, um, which not many people know about either. It happened with various other Twitch stream uh, Twitter streamers. I tried to make that point at least in the Golden Gnomes, and yet... I Wait, this girl also cheated on Nine Rain. Confirm or deny, RuneScape streamer? Okay, yes, confirm. Jimmy's friend. Okay, so Jimmy the guy, the YouTuber. And at EBScape, I've heard countless, uh, countless stories from men in this community over the past year, yet none of them want to speak up publicly. It's about time it happens before she does it again to someone else. This is a ridiculous comment by EBScape because your fucking boyfriend Ditter was white knighting for her and you no doubtably endorsed that video and that entire, that, that entire situation. Uh, she's attractive as hell, Lamau. Look, I've... Look at, look at Marcus, just fucking simping. She's attractive as hell, Lamau. You're fertilizer, Marcus! You're sick! There are many people that have seen the goods. There's definitely better out there, I'll tell you that right now. She looks like an orchid. It doesn't matter how she looks, I don't care. It's got nothing to do with, uh, with, with how she looks. Um, because this happens with every- like, with many different women, and many different men. Hold on, why are we watching King Condom? Because, like, I want to be involved in the drama and see what's popping, because I'm fucking bored on RuneScape right now, I'm not gonna lie. People need to stop. Like, stop buying into the ego shit. It's a fucking problem, to be honest. Doesn't matter about your taste. It doesn't matter if you if you like how she looks a lot or not. It does not matter at all, okay? Like, I called this fucking coming. I reposted it here because I wanted to let people know. I said it was going to happen. People do need to speak up about this more because it's just like West Ham suffers now because of it. He's humiliated now because of it. Like, I could have told him this was coming, but why would he listen to me? Him and his mates don't like me, so like I'm just a hater talking shit. She rage quit her stream earlier today. She was streaming, then West Ham made the treat. She ended up rage quitting the stream because she got called out on it. It's not a meme post. If it is, it's one of the biggest fucking memes on the internet right now for me at least. No, I've got nothing against West Ham. Like, he just got fucking played, sit. It happens all the time. You're always ignorant about the, the toxic people in your life until- <laughs> Look at this guy. You get what you deserve, Zor! Good job, I'm full of good job. It happens to you. Everyone else is crazy until the crazy shit comes out, you know? I'm sure we've all ignored warning signs in the past about people. Just to clarify, I did not pay for the trip. I'm aware of the person who did, but he was not attending, but ultimately has absolutely nothing to do with the drama, so his name deserves to be left out. That's why, chat, you guys gotta be careful with these Zors out here, bro. All, and, and, you know, one thing that King Condor said that I always stick by as well is that this e-girl shit, right, it's all some Zoggy shit, I'm not gonna lie. Oda, check her Twitch chat. Are people typing in her Twitch chat? Hi, a happy anniversary. Um, Zor. Expect nothing more from a Zor. Ah, yes, broke rules one and two, disgusting Zor. Wait, she broke her own rules? What were her own rules? Be nice, no sexual harassment. I don't have a OnlyFans. I don't want uh, to know if you want to sleep with me. Oh my god, she broke her own rules. You know what's funny? She did, it, she did this on Valentine's Day. That's like double the sin. That's double XP right there. Not only that, did she do that and did that to West Ham, but you got to understand that she, uh, her Valentine's Day post was Happy Valentine's Day, you whores. I know it's a joke, but how dare you even type that? My God, it blows my fucking mind. It really does.